so nivas uh, should we start with the interview yes sir okay can you tell me like what a function carrying function carrying yes carrying is a fun- function like it takes more than it takes arguments as a function and executes until all arguments are executed okay uh, can you show me an example for infinite carrying in infinite carrying if i don't know sir. okay fine not an issue can you tell me like uh, what is promise dot all method does promise what promise dot all method does promise is it is good set like no 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 promise okay inside uh, inside promise concept there is a method known as promise dot all method okay Okay. Have you seen it? Have you done it? No, sir. Okay, fine. Not an issue. Can you tell me the difference between deep copy and shallow copy? Yes, sir. Deep copy, like when it shallow copy creates a copy of in another reference, deep copy creates in the same reference. Like if we change values if of the first object in deep copy, the copied object also changes. In shallow copy, they both are different. Okay, in shallow copy both will be different. Yes, sir. So, uh, shallow copy memory location will be different. You mean to say? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Deep copy. Yes, sir. I'm... Or is it uh, opposite? Yeah, I'm not particularly sure. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me like what JSON dot stringify does? JSON dot stringify yes. converts JSON into string. And output such in string format. Okay, and uh, what uh, JSON dot parse method does? Parse converts into like types parse int, parse float like that. It will convert JSON text into particular data type. Particular data type. Like no, if pa- pa- JSON dot parse int, we can do, if we give any string like number string, it will convert that number in that string into number. I am asking about JSON dot parse and not parse end. Okay. Can you tell me a few features of ES6? ES6 features are yes. string literals, destructuring. Okay. Spread operator. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. Can you tell me like uh, which are the uh, array methods you have used till date? Array methods. Yes. The array that filter array that map like that method. Yes, filter map. Reduce. Reduce. That's it. Yes. Sir. Okay. Haven't you used push, pop, shift, unshift? Yes, sir. Those so, are yes, sir. Push, unshift, shift, pop. Okay. Yes. Have you used find method? Yes, sir. Find. Yes, sir. Find finds one particular element in the array. Okay, it finds the particular element. So suppose uh, mm-hmm. if uh, if there are five elements, one, two, three, yes, four, sir. five in an array. Yes, sir. And we put uh, greater than two. Hmm. So with the help of yes. find method, what hmm. it will bring the output? First, it will bring three, sir. It will bring three, but four and five also satisfies the condition, right? Yes, sir. But I think find method first converts it. If we, if it satisfies the con- condition, I think it breaks from the loop. Okay, so it will only bring the first element which satisfies the condition. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell me like how can we handle asynchronous operations? Asynchronous operations or asynchronous? Asynchronous. We have many methods to handle asynchronous operations. All back. Okay. Assign and await. Okay. Also use set set time of set interval functions. Promise. Promises. So, which is more efficient, promises or async await, according to you? I think promises. Sir. Promises. Why? Like promises is asynchronous operation. It returns completion of an event. It will return us 
either it is a success or failure but it will return compulsory something so a sync await doesn't helps us to do such efficiently i think first if i wait function satisfies then async will execute i think okay so uh, without async uh, we can write await keyword right yes sir first we can write uh, await no 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 what i am asking is if we don't write function as async no. can we write await inside it sir i don't think so okay can you tell me like about data types available in javascript yes sir member string okay boolean okay object okay undefined undefined okay okay n n n n n n is a data type no, n n is a data type no sir can you tell me like uh, inside data types there are two types of data types which are those yes, primitive is a primitive data types user dependent data types primitive and hmm? primitive have member like member boolean string okay user dependent have array objects okay non primitive yes sir okay non primitive okay can you tell me like what are function expressions function expressions yeah well assigning values to functions so. assigning a value to a function no, no sir it's declaring declaring a function implementing a function is called function as can you show me an example for function expression So this is a function expression. Yes, sir. So what is function declaration then? Like without any implementation. Okay, so suppose if we assign any anonymous function. Okay, tell me what is anonymous function? A function which which doesn't have any name. Okay, so can we assign the functions uh, to a variable? Yes, sir. So okay, uh, so right. okay, got it. Okay, yes, equals to you will do function, right? Uh, so okay, uh, so what it is known as? If we uh, assign a function to a variable, what it is known as? It is function expression, sir. I think. Yes. Okay. Yes, Above one is a function declaration. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you tell me the difference between spread operator and rest operator? spread operator spread operator and rest operator or rest parameter you can say spread operator is used to add more than two arrays more than two arrays can you show, uh, give me an example for for spread operator spread operator is used to copy as so copy and arrays Yeah, you can show me an example. Okay. Uh. Okay. Can you tell me like uh? Yeah. Rest. Can you tell me about the rest operators or rest parameter? Rest operator. Yes. Or rest parameter. You can say. I don't know. Sir. Okay. okay. Have you seen in arguments we pass triple dot. As a last in para parameter. In functions, is it? Yes. No, sir. Okay. 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 Fine. So the working of JavaScript are they synchronous or asynchronous? Asynchronous, sir. Why? <laughs> Java has many functions which which makes uh, which makes it asynchronous, like callbacks or assign and await. We can access multiple multiple functions at the same time using those methods. Hence, it is asynchronous. Okay. 
key event bubbling and event capturing can you tell me the difference between them yes sir event bubbling is like having a higher order event in low lower functions higher order events in lower functions yes i don't remember exactly the correct definition okay uh, like you can explain in your words if you can will you be event able bubbling. to yes sir event bubbling means handling small events from big events handling Multi multiple like passing one one small event to a big event higher order event as an argument uh, uh, yes. okay uh, so can you write a string what sir uh, write any string like uh, const name equals to you can write uh, write nivas medi do di space also yes what now you have to do is you have to find out the character count of each word present in that sentence like character space. count so so uh, you have to find out n so n is present how many times in that sentence one time so n colon 1 i yes, then i i how many times it is appearing 1 2 3 4 4 times it is appearing in that sentence right yes sir so you have to write i colon 4 so in output we should receive that you got it yes sir can i i think i can use hash man okay yeah you can do whatever however you can i'm little bit confused itself okay so you won't be able to do it yes. okay fine you can comment this out can you tell me the difference between map method and for each method map method and for each method yes the returns the same number of values which is which are in array okay the for each method filters the values and returns which satisfies the condition okay for each filters the element It checks for a particular condition. Okay. Can you show me an example for for each method? Yes. Done. Can you check one, sir? Uh, you told me it will filter out the elements from the array, right? Yes, sir. Right. So, like where is the condition? Sir, I think filter me the filter out, sir. Both now same things are right now. It will return. Hmm. What it will return? the return same element sir same element so okay so filtering out is not the way through which we use for each okay sir no i am asking you what sir for each method whether it is used for filtering out or not no sir okay so what it is used for filter uh, for each method for iterating through the array okay iterating through the array And map method. Map method also iterating to the array with specified condition. Okay, so map method also iterates the array, but uh, only iteration purpose we use map method. No sir, like it has some conditions. So what uh, it will do? Like it will filter out, it will uh, re provide resultant. What it will do? It will provides. 
like if we want to like multiples of the array numbers like that we can do with maps okay okay can you tell me like what is temporal dead zone temporal dead zone yes okay fine okay uh, okay nivas so we will move to html okay okay sir. can you tell me what's the difference between cell padding and cell spacing cell padding and cell spacing yes cell spacing is used inside content box cell padding is used outside content box what is outside like what do like you mean in, by outside like in, if you think a element as a content box we have content first padding next margin third uh how can we combine two or more columns in a html table Hmm? How can we combine two or more columns or two or more rows in an HTML table? Combining. Yes. Have you done combining rows or no. combined columns? No. No sir. Okay, fine, fine. Can you tell me the types of list available in HTML? Order list, unordered list. Okay. Number list. And member list. One more list. No, oh, only two lists. Are order list and order list. Order okay. list only members. Okay. Yeah. Have you heard of uh, DL? DL. D D D for dog. DL. No sir. Description list. Have you heard of? No sir. I'm listening first. Okay. Time. Okay. Fine. Can you tell me like what are empty elements? Empty. Empty elements. No, if we cannot in create any elements after declaring, like div after div method, if we did not create any elements. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, we will move to CSS. Okay. okay. Why we use keyframes in CSS? Any idea? Yes, sir. Keyframes are used for animation purpose. Have you used it? No, I don't. I know, sir, about it. Okay. Can you tell me, like, uh, there are different types of CSS? Different types of CSS. Inline and uh, there are multiple types of CSS. To uh, access CSS file. Yes, inline CSS and. Inline CSS, inter external CSS. External CSS and inline external and. Internal. Internal. Uh, what's the priority order? First inline, sir. Inline, then internal. Okay, and then external. Okay. Sir. So, as a developer, which should we prefer? Like it depends on the page, sir. So, which is a good way to write? Most most developers prefer external, sir. External. Okay. Okay. Fine. What do you mean by universal selectors? Universal selector, like selector, it is applies for all the elements in the CSS body. Like we use with star symbol. Okay. They are okay. Yep, uh, Nivas, uh, that's it for the interview. Okay. Okay, sir. Any queries, any questions you can ask me?